The 511 Rush Moab 6 or Mobile Operation Attachment Bag is part of the Rush series of premium quality gear packs from 511 Tactical. This bag can act as a tactical pack, a grab and go bag, or a quick and easy shoulder pack for school or travel. The ambidextrous padded strap is fully adjustable, while a tech pocket at the shoulder holds your electronic gear. There's also a pass-through access point for headphones. A quick stash pocket at the rear offers covert storage, and an internal water bottle pocket helps you stay hydrated. The interior storage area is roomy and organized, and a Molly slick stick web lining around the exterior allows you to personalize your storage options. The Moab 6 comes equipped with a 511 tier system, allowing you to integrate with other Rush Series bags. There's a covert TacTech pocket at the rear and a fleece lined sunglass pocket. We've added a sturdy grab and go handle and comfortable compression straps. The Moab 6 is constructed from durable, lightweight 1050D nylon that's water resistant. The YKK self healing zippers are glove friendly, and we've also included a hook and loop flag patch. This is the 511 Rush Moab 6. Hi, this is Patrick from GPS. I'm here today to show you a little bit about our GPS Tactical Range Backpack. It's uh, a very good selling item for us. The key features are we have uh, 18 different icons in our lineup, starting with eye protection, ear protection. Two things you can't shoot without. So we've got velour line pockets strategically placed within the backpack to allow you to access them and use them. This one features a drop down front pocket and it comes with a place to store extra mags, a tactical flashlight, a small parts box, and a place for tools. On the side, we have an extra pocket specifically built in to hold your tape. You need tape when you go to the range either to put your targets up or to mark old holes, old bullet holes, so you can pattern your weapon. A range bag wouldn't be complete if it didn't have a pocket for a stapler. You've got to have a stapler to either put your targets up uh, to keep them out of the wind. In the back, you have a place to bungee up your targets and got to have targets when you go to the range. The main compartment is housed on this side and it comes with three independent pistol cases. Each case is capable of storing a medium sized handgun and each case comes with a divided pattern that holds four uh, mags. We use tear proof mesh to make it a little bit easier to see if that mag is loaded or not. Another key feature is this baby has a frame, a hard frame built in so when you load it with gear you put extra ammo, you put extra guns in the top, it doesn't ruin the integrity of the bag. It features Molly hardware so you're able to attach other, other accessories to it. So those are the basic features of our GPS tactical backpack. The Rush Delivery series of bags. We have the mic, the Lima, and the X-Ray, or in civilian terminology, the medium, large, and extra large. The one thing that is the same across all of them is the design. So what we're really talking about here when we talk about the mic, the Lima, or the X-Ray, is how much size you're gonna get in the bag itself. The reinforced carrying handle, it's got a bunch of different attachment points for a carabiner. Throw one on here, you can put your car keys on here set of handcuffs, whatever it is you want to put on the outside of the bag. Each one of these bags has a dual zipper pockets. These are not connected, they're individual pockets. And the last thing on the front flap is a Velcro system. And if you look closely, this is actually a Molly Velcro system. So it could be Velcro, or you could weave a Molly attachment point through this should you want to. A nice Nalgene pocket on the outside. It's got a pull strap to hold the tension and keep your objects in. There's two small pouches right here for a small pen light front pouch up you can see that right underneath that flap is a variety of storage options you have pouches here for spare magazines if need be you have everything from pen knives to penetrators flashlights pens another knife behind all of these admin pouches you have your first little velcro pouch directly behind that is a secondary pouch where you got all you know your quick grab stuff and then the last pouch is a zipper opening giving you access to a full-size pocket that runs the entire width and length of the front pouch. Making your way to the inside, 
Starting in the back and working our way forward, we have a full-size uh, laptop sleeve that's padded on both sides with a strap that comes over the top and Velcro's in to keep your laptop in place. In the Velcro that the laptop attachment strap actually connects to also has a series of pockets for easy access. And on the very front side here, there's two individual mesh pockets with zippers. So you can see what's inside of each one of the mesh pockets. The rest of the bag on the inside is pretty cavernous, actually. It's a lot of space. Flip it over to the back. One full length zippered pouch. Right inside of here, you have a zipper and then a little bit of an additional retention with the Velcro. Tactical perspective, you don't want people to see when you open up the main compartment. Last thing to cover is the strap. Connected with a large Fastec buckle on each side covered by a piece of elastic to make sure you don't have an accidental activation of the Fastec in and of itself and to protect the individual pieces. Rush delivery, series of bags, Mike, the Lima, and the extra. The bag we'll be looking at here is the TC08 by Explorer. A general description of this bag is a standard range bag that can be used indoors and outdoors to hold all the items you may need for a trip to the shooting range. The dimensions of this bag are 12 inches in this direction by 18 inches in this direction by 6 inches in this direction. The materials all over this bag are very high quality ballistic nylon the zippers vary in size around the bag, but they're all very smooth pulling and all zippers have pulls already included. To get into the pockets, we can start right here. Uh, these two pockets are magazine pouches for a single AR or AK magazine. They have Velcro closure with fixed lids over the top. Both of these hold one magazine each. Here you have a medium slip pocket with Velcro closure non-adjustable lid. Here you have two very small pockets for small items maybe like a flashlight mount or screws or connectors that you need to um, protect and then both these pockets are, um, you know, remain secure using a Velcro closure lid over the top right here. On the side of the bag are two very large open slip pockets. These pockets can be used for um, pistol round, boxes of pistol rounds, they can hold bags of rifle rounds, they can hold um, large water bottles, whatever you may need to put in these pouches, um, you know, radios, they can fit into this pouch. Um, any combination of items you need, these pouches are very large and they remain secure via this strap that is Velcro and it is adjustable shock cord on the back for whatever height you may need to get over the items that you store inside these pouches. There's one on this side of the bag and one on this side of the bag and they are the same size identical pouches. As you come around to this side of the bag, at the bottom here you have a very um, you know, nice deep long pouch. This can be used for flashlights or optics that are a little bit longer. It is non padded. Here you have a small zipper closure uh, slip pouch with a rain flap over the top. And then here on the face you have a nice loop field. Same over here with this pouch except it's double wide. Zipper closure with the rain flap. Fully open and then a nice large loop field on top of that. As you move around to the top of the bag here, there is, first of all, in order to carry the bag, there's two methods. First of all, there is this shoulder strap which is fully adjustable via this polymer buckle. It has a nice shoulder strap permanently affixed with 
air mesh on the bottom, nice padding, and some non-slick material in these two positions. There is also a regular carry handle which uh, secures over the top of the main pouch and the two hidden pouches which has a nice velcro closure to hold the handles together. Undoing that exposes the three main compartments of this bag. The two exterior compartments are designed to be concealed carry compartments that look like the side of the bag. But when you open them up, they have full Velcro closure left to right, so they're completely sealed when they're closed. And inside, you have loop field that runs the entire span left to right and top to bottom of the pouch, giving you the ability to add universal holster and universal magazine carriers wherever you want, however you want. Um, in here and keep the pistol and magazines nice and discreet and uh, hidden away from plain sight. The same exact pocket exists on the other side as well with the same velcro closure, the same full loop field and uh, the ability to conceal another pistol and more magazines on this side. Inside the bag, the main compartment is protected first with this Velcro closure over the top of the zippers to stop any moisture from getting into the hole between the two zippers. The zippers are a very large gauge smooth pull zipper, dual zippered on this pouch and they have a nice uh, nylon pull with webbing and a rubber grip on that. Single pull pulls both zippers back, opening the bag. Inside the bag, um, first of all is this item which is a organizer, organizer that can be adjusted or adapted to fit in a multitude of different ways. Um, it has a section that goes out this direction and a long flat section so you can half the bag or turn it into you know, two quarters and one half, flip it around however you need to. The hook velcro on this organizer mates to the soft material inside this bag. Um, the entire bag as well as the organizer are lined with this very nice soft felt style material which will protect any items that you keep in this bag um, and make sure that any kind of eye protection or optics or anything you might um, organize in here will uh, remain scratch free. Here you can see the excess amount of shock cord for the outside uh, retainers for the outside pouches. Now what I'm going to do is go ahead and grab a bunch of items to throw in this bag to show you how the bag um, organizes for a trip to the shooting range. So give me one second. So here you can see the bag with the organizer installed. It breaks the bag into one long compartment and two smaller compartments. Um, inside the bag uh, here's a nice pair of standard electronic earmuffs. Uh, they can go right here. Here is a pouch containing speed loaders. That can go right here. Here is a tool pouch containing any kind of tools you may need to adjust your optics, work on your guns, or um, anything else you might need. Fits right there. Here is a uh, container for eye protection, a nice hard case, fit that right here. Here is a shot timer, in case you want to practice your speed, you can put that in here. And here's a pair of gloves, throw those right in there. So you can see how nice and neat everything can organize inside the pack. Very easy to close up, latch to protect it. Inside this area, while I don't have the universal organizers, um, here is a standard full size pistol. You can see that would go right down into a universal holster. And then with a couple magazines, right next to it inside that pocket. 
seal that all up nice and neat, very discreet. And then lock the handle over the top like so. On the outside over here, couple AR-15 magazines slide right into place and are held securely closed like that. And you can see I still haven't even gotten into any of the pockets here, any of the pockets here, or these two side pockets for ammunition or other small items that you may want to include to personalize it for your own use. So anyway, that is the TC08 by Explorer.